Back in the roaring 20s and 30s, the automobile scene was like a wild party, and cars were the cool kids on the block. Cars like the Chevrolet, Dodge, and Ford T model had a special variant with an upholstered, foldable exterior seat at the back of the car, which provided exposed seating for one or two passengers. People had names for this unique feature, each more entertaining than the last. Rumble seat, because it was like catching a ride in the middle of a jazzed-up earthquake. Dicky seat, because, well, why not add a touch of British charm to your ride? And for the bold and the brave, the mother-in-law seat, presumably because only the most adventurous souls dared to occupy it. So if you're planning to take your mother-in-law on a ride, make sure she's dressed for the weather. Wilma Smith, participating in the open-air festival at the famous McClure Vineyards in Burbank to celebrate the harvesting of California's 1930 grape crop. An old woman selling dried animal bladder and stomach balls used to make traditional cheese or meat products circa 1928. The House of David was a religious community in Benton Harbor, Michigan, USA. In July 1940, a baker at the House of David Religious Community would have played a crucial role in providing baked goods for the members of the community. A little girl is filled with joy and excitement as she witnesses her dad's incredible balancing act. In 1940, Western Australia witnessed a pivotal moment in its democratic history as voters engaged in the democratic process by casting their ballots. This likely took place during a significant election, either at the state or federal level. In the 1930s, Josephine Baker, the iconic American-born French entertainer, continued to captivate audiences with her extraordinary talent, charisma, and groundbreaking contributions to the world of entertainment. U.S. Army Captain Byron B. Bradford is captured in a moment within a trench as he actively engages in combat against Japanese forces near Buna, Papua New Guinea, circa 1943. Individuals enjoy a leisurely boat ride in Sismiju Park, situated in Bucharest, Romania, in the year 1937. Around 1968, the aspiring Austrian bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger strikes a pose outside the Victoria Palace Theatre in London. This photo depicts 15-year-old Priscilla writing a letter to her 25-year-old boyfriend, Elvis Presley, in 1960. The couple met in Germany when Elvis was serving in the US Army, and Priscilla was just 14 years old. They maintained a long-distance relationship for several years before getting married in 1967. A captivating optical illusion from the 1950s challenges visual perception. This vintage image presents a mind-bending arrangement that plays tricks on the eyes, showcasing the creative exploration of visual effects during that era. Linda Carter, in the 1970s, became an iconic figure as she portrayed Wonder Woman in the television series of the same name. Her portrayal of the superheroine, which ran from 1975 to 1979, left an indelible mark on popular culture. Three guardsmen from the 1st Battalion, Grenadier Guards, dated the 23rd of January, 1941. During this time, which was in the midst of World War II, military units, including the Grenadier Guards, played crucial roles in various theatres of conflict. In the late 1930s, a Romanian shepherd is depicted in this image, emblematic of the pastoral lifestyle prevalent during that era. 
During the 1950s, students actively participate in a nuclear attack drill, reflecting the prevalent Cold War anxieties and concerns about nuclear threats. Navajo warrior is captured in a moment of preparation as he skillfully strings his bow, circa 1913. In 1865, an elder samurai is depicted in Yokohama, Japan, showcasing the enduring legacy of the samurai class during a period of historical transition. Jean Harlow, the blonde bombshell, rose to fame as a leading sex symbol and iconic actress in the early 1930s. Known for her bad girl roles and laughing vamp persona, she became one of Hollywood's biggest stars in just nine years. A propaganda image depicts Soviet doctors providing care to German prisoner of war Stephen Dorish in a Moscow hospital after sustaining frontline injuries in year 1942. A portrait of a young lady from the 1850s captures the elegance and fashion of the era. A snapshot captures the industrial scene at the Farrell Birmingham Corporation foundry in Ansonia, Connecticut, USA. The photo showcases a worker taking a temperature reading in the midst of the foundry's operations circa 1940. An image captures the timeless majesty of the Great Pyramid of Giza, year 1930. On July 12, 1963, the Rolling Stones made a groundbreaking TV appearance on the British television show Thank Your Lucky Stars. President John F. Kennedy was captured in a candid moment, diligently at work within the iconic Oval Office, circa 1962. In 1930, the USA national football team participated in the inaugural FIFA World Cup hosted in Uruguay. This marked a crucial moment in the early chapters of international football as teams from around the world convened to compete on a global scale. On November 10, 1865, at the Old Capitol Prison in Washington, D.C., the Gallows played a somber role in the execution of Henry Wurz. Wurz had been found guilty of conspiracy in connection to his role as the commandant of the Confederate prison camp Andersonville during the American Civil War. Nicolae Balcescu, a prominent figure in Romanian history, was a multifaceted individual with roles as a Wallachian soldier, historian, journalist, and a key leader during the 1848 Wallachian Revolution. Jamie Lee Curtis is an accomplished American actress, author, and activist, born on November 22, 1958. She is widely recognized for her versatile performances in a range of film genres, with a notable emphasis on the horror genre. Cary Grant engaged in a charming scene with a dog, sharing a moment while reading a movie script together. The year 1957 marked a significant point in martial arts history as it witnessed the meeting of Yip Man, renowned martial artist and Wing Chun master, with his most famous student, Bruce Lee. The photograph encapsulates a pivotal moment in the mentor-student relationship between these two iconic figures.